You know, banks are always looking for some money that they can invest. Hmm, we need some money. And this is why they set up what's called a guaranteed investment certificate. It's for small investors like you. There's you, and you have a little bit of money that you're looking to invest. There is my little bit of money that I'm looking to invest. Now, a GIC is nice because it's a lot less risky than putting your money into the stock market where you could lose it. So if you get started with a GIC, the bank will gladly take your money for some investing. Thanks for the money. What makes a GIC different than a regular savings account is that the bank will give you a higher interest rate, usually, and your money is locked up for a certain period of time. Now, it could be for six months or a year or two years, and during that time, the bank is going to use it to invest aggressively. So, hopefully, if all goes well, when the term of the GIC is over, the bank will return your money and you'll have more. Yay! So some advantages of a GIC are lower risk. There's typically lower risk than investing in the stock market, although you still can lose money. Predictable. In a typical GIC, you know exactly how long your money is locked up for, and you know exactly what the interest rate will be. It's pretty simple to set up a GIC at most banks. No need to be a stock market whiz. And it's affordable. You don't need a lot of money to get started with a GIC. Some disadvantages are low return. Usually the stock market would give you a higher return or a mutual fund would give you a higher return because there's more risk involved. Your money is locked. When you agree to give the bank your money in a GIC, your money's locked up for a certain period of time. And if you do want to take it out, sometimes the bank will make you pay a penalty because really you're breaking a contract with the bank. And there's a look at GICs.